Welcome, Cancer Leo, to your beginning of the month reading for June. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers. Anyone new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. I've already pulled the energy that surrounds you for the beginning of the month, and you have the Strength card with Love Abounds. The Strength card is talking about the inner strength that's within yourself, um, the hidden strengths that... Um, you may not know that you really have that are showing through and shining through as the love abounds for you. The love abounds is the overall meaning for the reading. And this card is literally talking about the potentials to achieve anything that you wish to have. It is the Ace of Cups. And this powerful energy of love surrounds you. Just listen to your heart. Your heart knows the truth of what's going, you know, what's really going on around you. And that's really where this inner strength is really coming from, my friends, is knowing that you have the courageousness to get through anything um, that's going on within your situation and really staying strong in the beginning of the month. Not allowing any forces to pull you down. You've decided to take on that inner strength and carry on with it. The situation is taking place in the present the recent past and the near future. Okay, let's see what's going on with you, my friends. Yep. Challenging times. So staying really strong during these challenging times that you have. In the recent past, it was a refusal to see. And in the near future, you have Blossom, which is the same as the Sun card. It's saying that it's time to shine. Everything will be fine. Having the refusal to see is the same as the two of swords. It's pretty much saying that there are directions that you could be going on, but you have the refusal to see exactly which direction you're supposed to be on. Trying to decide, feeling like you're in an impasse and not knowing exactly what to do. Having things go on around you that puts you out into a situation almost to where you're kind of juggling on where am I supposed to go and what am I supposed to be doing? Why am I kind of stuck here? So not really seeing the road ahead. Being unable to decide what the next step is. So with the refusal to see, clarifying on that, we have the refusal to see, please. Learning. Learning which way to go with the Page of Swords coming out. Listening and learning. There was this underdetermination to go a certain way. Maybe you learned that that was the way you were supposed to go. That's what you're supposed to do. And this brings you out of the anxiety. And this is where the strength is coming in. As soon as you push that bubble away, that anxiety bubble away, then you can get your determination back. And this strength is saying, okay, now I'm strong. Now I have the courage to see exactly where I need to be and which road I need to go. It doesn't matter if I have challenging times. That's not the point, right? The point is I was stuck. I learned. I listened. And I got strong. So within the challenging times over here, it's saying that right now you're stuck within these challenging times. There are things going on around you that you just have to stay strong with. Otherwise, you'll end up back at the impasse. You'll be back in the Eight of Swords. You'll be back in that anxiety. So really fighting through that because there is things that's going on. And you're able to see that there are new choices and new things that can be good for you with the Love of Bounds is the entire uh, message for the reading. So yes, getting back to the things that unite you. Trying to stay united within that strength and within yourself and knowing what you want and what you desire. The challenge is going to be there. But knowing that you're getting through the challenge in the beginning of the month, yes, is always there. Listening to other people's opinions, listening to other people's chatter, listening to what other people have to say that could be negative with the Seven of Cups. We don't really care. It's almost like you're saying, you know what, I don't care anymore what you're saying. I don't care about your opinions. You know, I have Seven of Cups that I want to be upwards. And getting past that, because right now it just feels like there's so many options um, that are not opening up. So you're staying strong, waiting for this challenge to get by. Trying to get by this and staying united within yourself. Well, right? 
with the seven of cups upside down saying, I have the desire. And I'm not going to listen to your chitter chatter anymore. Okay, you know, if they want to talk about me, I'm two steps ahead of them. There's no reason for me to look back at them. Just keep walking. So maybe they're trying to challenge you. Maybe it's challenge at work. Maybe it's challenge with anybody, right? It could be anybody. Getting over the three of swords, there's no more pain. There's nothing that they can do it right now. You're just trying to focus on getting out of the challenge and staying strong. Focusing, yes, and moving quickly past this. Why? Because you put them out of your energy and you're slowly but surely moving past this. Yep, three or your three of cups. There could be three people involved, right? But however it is, it's you getting to where you need to be with the three of cups, to the happiness, to the joy, finding the joy. And the more you keep moving in the present, right now, in the present, in the beginning of the month, you will have the joy coming at you because you keep telling them, I'm, you know, I hear you back there, but why I'm not turning around to look at you? Why would I want to turn around with, to look at you when I am two to five steps ahead of you? Keep your maturity down over there because you're not going to bug me. Right? I'm done. So whatever the challenge may be, whether it's sour talk or however it is, you're not paying attention to that anymore because you have other things to hold on to. You have new plans. You have new adventures and new things and new potentials for you that are getting ready to blossom. Yeah. Going straight over here into the near future where the blossom is. Waiting for that sun to come out. Knowing that you held the strength so much that now you get to see the overall happiness. Look, if you stop paying attention to them, they're going to chitter chatter for a while, but they're going to stop because they know you, they can't get in your energy anymore. You've dis, you know, it's dissipating, right? The challenge can only go on for so long before it dissipates as well. Handing it over to the universe. This is too much for me. I don't want to deal with this. I'm going to stay strong and move forward. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're saying, that's it. I'm done. I trust in my own abilities and I trust in the universe to know that I can get through this. I don't have to sit over here and listen to you guys. Okay. With the blossom, it takes a lot of loving care from yourself. Okay. And attention to help you move, grow, and develop so that you're blooming. Okay. There will be other people around you that you'll be able to trust and they'll start opening themselves up to you. Okay, so that way you always feel like you're a flower. That's really what it is, because you're blossoming. And all of those people who are haters, naysayers, grumpy, opinionated, they'll stop because they're going to see this. They're going to see this potential. You're going to move into this different area of your life. And they're going to say, wow, okay, I guess you can't hear me anymore. You know, because... <laughs> Like I said, you're five steps ahead. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. I keep moving beyond you. As you're transforming, you learn to grow in a new direction. Now you're going through the new direction that you were told to do in the first place. Regarding of whatever the situation is, you're following through. And there's a big follow through. And it just continues to keep blossoming. And your heart's desires keep opening, no matter what the situation is. Because the storm can only stay for so long. Once you start gaining all the strength and all the confidence and start learning and doing the things you're supposed to do and understanding, that challenge has to go away. Because you're going to continue to find ways to get out of the challenge. Making the challenge a challenge no more. That's right. Letting it go. Allowing it to crumble. Sometimes we just have to allow things to crumble. It's no longer, it's nothing that you can really do. Right? There's nothing really you can do. When the tower is upside down, it's saying, I can't fix this. I can only go with the way I can go. It's out, it's out of my hands. It's out of my control. It just dissipates. And that's what storms do. Right? Somebody feels like they're out in the cold. This is not you because you are blooming. They feel like they're out in the cold. The situation is put out into the cold. So where you might have felt like you were at one time, Cancer Leo, that is not you anymore. Now they feel like you're not listening. They feel like you've left them out in the cold. Well, you did because you stopped listening. You stopped, let, stopped letting them affect you. 
you've moved on. You've taken the leap of faith. They see that too. They see that you have moved past, you know, past this. This kind of makes them sad though, in some ways. And for some of you, the naysayers and the haters, you know why they're depressed? Because they can't get in your energy anymore. They're bullies. They can't do what they want to do. I know it's crazy, right? It's crazy. Like, why would they be depressed? Because they were depressed to begin with. That's why. Why do people do the things they do? For others of you, if it's love, they know that you've moved past this and you're not going to deal with it anymore. You've got strong and you've left. You're done. The passion is gone. You're not dealing. And they know that. Because this is something that's not for you anymore. You're, you know, moving into this beautiful place to where now you're blossoming. You become the sun. You still have the strength. You have the love abounds you. And you have the magician coming out, which is the time now for you to start moving towards the intentions you really want for your life and really taking action and making the magic happen. And if this person knows that you're leaving them behind, it doesn't matter if it's a friend, um, it doesn't matter who it is, they know that they're, you're not there anymore to listen. I'm not listening to anything that you have to say. You make me sad and I don't want to be there. They were putting you into a shell. And this is a challenge. See, once you walk away from the challenge and you grow and they know you can't affect, they can't affect you anymore, it puts them into a shell. So now they're going to kind of hide out. They're going to kind of do this because that's what they do. They want to have the ultimate control somehow or another. But now they see that you have the ace of coins. So therefore you have success. You want to say that you won the battle? You won the challenge? Absolutely. You can say that, you know, if that's how it's going to be. Every battle has a winner and a loser. You're either a victor or a loser. That's it right? Every challenge is that way. Did you allow the challenge to beat you and win and conquer you? Or did you conquer the challenge? So no matter how it is with the ace of coins, you come out as the victor. No matter what the situation is, someone is going to lose. I, you know, even if it's the washing machine that broke, ha ha, I fixed you. I win. You don't rattle no more. It, you know, it's just the way that is. And they know that they lost in this because they no longer have the control to get into your energy or to get into your head. No. Taking actions in different ways. They see you coming up. There's this big come up. And we see that though with the love of bounce and the, and the sun for sure. There's this big, huge... Um, growth in so many different areas. They may have felt like they kind of had you wrapped around their finger for a long time. Um, and now they don't. You cut the string. Now they just really don't like that. And now you have all these potentials with the love of balance that you feel like you have your cups overfilled because you're coming out of this great challenge. Speaker. And see, there's another thing too. Because you have great speaking skills. Maybe it's something you haven't done in a long time. Maybe you've been taking on that cancer side and kind of hiding out into a shell. Um, kind of backing yourself into a corner, kind of hiding out, not wanting to say anything. Maybe you don't want to explode. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? However it is. Um, but the speaker over here is speaking your mind, speaking your truth. Freedom. Freeing yourself from this challenge. Not allowing anyone to hold you back tell you that this is where you're going to be, this is who you are, you're this, you're that, you know, or you should be this, that, or the other, or whatever direction that you're looking for that seems to be holding it back. You're now free to have the Ace of, wow, you got the Ace of Cups, the Ace of, of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. So this is something big. This is something huge. This isn't just some 
little task. This isn't some little challenge. This is something huge. You have so many new beginnings over here. Plus the blossoming, which you really need to, you know, get out of that storm. There's this sun coming through. Just make sure that you're watching your nutrition. Don't overindulge in things that, you know, are not healthy for you. Make sure that you're eating the right type of foods or make sure you're eating, period. <laughs> okay. And let's see if we have anything else. Family. Just make sure that you're hanging out with your family and we have the sun sign too as well. So family could also be a very good thing for you. Make sure that you're hanging out with family members that, that make you feel comfortable, that make you feel happy. People who can put positivity into your life um, and make you feel fresh, renewed, and energized. Okay, and that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.